Hello, and welcome back to the Gazette's Her Women of Achievement Honoree Spotlights. I'm your host, Katie Giorgio, and today with me, I have Her Honoree, Dr. Lori Sunburn, who is the president of Kirkwood Community College. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Sunburn. Thank you, Katie. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Yeah, well, tell us a little bit about what it means to be the president of Kirkwood Community College. What, what does your role involve? I'm sure no day is the same. <laughs> oh gosh, that's a big question. So um, yeah, no day is really the same as a previous day. Uh, but for me, uh, it's really about like the mission of what we do. And I went back, I'm a first generation college graduate myself. And I went to my community college twice. I, so I went right out of high school into a career tech program. And then I went back um, at 30, I went into um, an associate degree uh, of arts to transfer. And uh, it changed my life, you know? And, and so I don't know, after I graduated with my bachelor's degree, I kind of had toyed with the idea of changing careers and an opportunity came open at my community college. And so I went back there to work and I just knew it was the right thing to do. It's, you know, I just feel like um, higher ed made such an impact on me and my community college. I mean, it just changed everything for me that I wanted to be a part of that, right? For other people um, and to tell that story. That's so, so neat. Um, talk a little bit about kind of what keeps you passionate today. Um, at, you know, you've had a long career in, in higher education. So talk about what, what fuels your passion day in and day out. Yeah, so I don't know that a lot has changed in terms of my passion because I think today, higher education, particularly for first generation students, um, low income maybe, it's never been more important, right? It's just never been more important, but it's probably never been more challenging than what it is today. Uh, with the pandemic, uh, for us here in Cedar Rapids with the derecho, um, you know, we've had a really tough couple of years and I know I think back to when I was going back to college and I had a family and I had a, I had a business. And so I had all these things going on. And I thought, I wonder if I would have done that if there was a pandemic too, or if, you know, my house was in a derecho was damaged. And I think the answer would have been no, it would have felt overwhelming. And so I know that's what our students are feeling. And so um, I'm probably more passionate today than I have been because never been more important uh, for students to get a college education, um, even if it's career tech, I mean, that's fine too, um, but it's probably never been more challenging uh, for some students to even consider it. And so that's part of the work, right, is to, is to inspire and encourage students to um, consider us. Talk a little bit about um, why you feel that Kirkwood plays an important role um, in this community in particular and, and why you're you know, proud to be aligned with that mission. Yeah, for sure. So um, the whole notion of community colleges, you know, that was in the 1960s. And prior to that, if you think back, um, it, people attended college. It was kind of like a legacy, like a family legacy kind of thing. And it was really for a select few. And community colleges, the whole notion of that, right, said community college can be for everybody. And that was revolutionary. And, and so I think that's why I identify with community colleges because it's, it just, you know, we are non-selective and we say like, wherever you are in your educational journey, we're going to meet you where you are and we're going to help get you where you want to be. And so uh, Kirkwood plays that role in the community. But then, of course, we also play a huge workforce, you know, work role with our businesses. You know, we provide training at businesses. We also have, you know, kit camps, which are for little kids, right, to think about. We want them to start thinking about college. Um, we have our workplace learning connection, which provides internships, job shadows, all of those kinds of things for high school students, as well as concurrent enrollment. So we really... When you think of, of the breadth and depth of what we do here, um, it's amazing. And so um, I'm just, I'm really happy to be a part of it. And I get to work with a lot of great people. And so uh, I think we make a pretty big impact on the region. Definitely. Talk about um, personal impact. What advice would you offer, especially to other women who are looking to make an impact, whether that's in their career or volunteer work, 
um, no matter, you know, if it's in higher education or any sector, what advice would you offer um, that you've learned over the years? Yeah, so what I would say is um, you want to make your impact where you have your calling, right, where you have your passion. Um, because then it doesn't feel like work really, you know, and it, and you get that reward because that's where your passion is. And so that's what I would say. And, and I, I have to tell you when I um, was going to change careers and go into higher ed, I mean, there was nobody in my family that thought that was a great idea, except for my husband, right? Because I owned my own business. So I was, you know, doing my own thing, it was successful. And so, um, sometimes you have to make decisions that maybe others think, you know, aren't, the best decisions. But if you know in your heart that that's where you want to be, I say to go ahead and do it. And um, I think it will work out for you, right? Because that's where your passion is. That is perfect advice. Thank you so much for being here and sharing that. Thank you to all of our viewers for tuning in and helping us celebrate our 2022 Her Women of Achievement. For all of our 2022 Her Honoree interviews, you can go to www.her.today. Thank you so much.